guest was born in St. Louis. Now, she likes to design her own clothes, calls herself a self-made snob, but she wants uh, men to know that she can be down-home girl, too. Please welcome Robin Levy. Why, why do you call yourself a self-made snob? Well, the truth is, my parents never spoiled me when I was a small child, even though they could have. They didn't get me that car like all my girlfriends got when they were 16. So when I was in the adult world making my own living, I just saved up my money and worked really hard and bought myself nice things, the full-length fur and the jewelry and the coat. So I did it myself. So I'm a self-made snob. Also. Well, that, I guess that's good, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, and I don't like really farmer and hick types. I prefer more cosmopolitan type people. You don't like farmer and hick type no. guys who go, boy, I sure think you're cute, but you sure are a little slippery. Don't you? Don't like that. Even though I'm from Missouri. Oh, I see. <laughs> How are you a down-home girl in what way? Well, I love to cook and I love to sew. And I'm really happy to invite somebody over and make a nice dinner for them and things like that. But most men never really think that I'm that type. They look at me and they think I'm one-dimensional, more glamorous, that I'm not going to be earthy, which I really am, deep inside. Deep inside, that's mm -hmm. what you are and that's yeah. what you prefer. Give me a T-shirt, pair of jeans. I'm great. If you were married, would you, would you want to stay at home four days a week, or would you rather go out four days a week, four nights a week? I'd rather go out. <laughs> you some idea of what a down-home girl <laughs> is? I, have, I can stay home in the day and go out. No, I know. I, believe me, I understand. <laughs> Explain what you mean by queen of the three-month relationships. Oh, well, it's not that I'm the one-night stand type, but it seems that I never... Well, thank you for <laughs> erasing that from my... <laughs> I never seem to have long-term relationships. I always end up with... The three-month relationship. Well, I don't know. I call myself the in-between date. Well, I mean, why, though? Why? Is it because of them or because of you? Them. The guys think that, well, I'm good enough to date for a little while, but not good enough to fall in love with. All right, let's take a look at the men that Robin had to choose from. Now, remember, I want you to watch closely because you're going to vote. Okay? Here we go. First, it was Terry. Terry's from Dublin, Ireland. He's into barbecues and jogging with his dog. He prefers to... Uh, taking dates to lunch rather than to dinner, and here's what the women find appealing about him. I uh, like my accent, you know. Yeah. I usually have a lot of fun with my accent when I get into it, you know, telling, you know, rhyming off a couple of limericks or jokes or just generally kidding around with my accent. But a lot of girls find it attractive, you know, and it's different, and it's a conversation piece. All right, next it was Chuck. He was raised in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. He likes ice hockey and sunbathing. Says that women always think he's younger than he is. Here's a problem he has with relationships. I'm very good at meeting women on the road and having like two days with them and, you know, having the excuse of waking everybody up, checking out of the hotel and leaving. Um, my problem dating here in town is that uh, I don't know where to take a relationship except either keeping it very distant and just spending a very little amount of time with somebody or living with them. Okay, and finally watched Hal. Hal enjoys fishing and fixing things. Now, he says that he dates about 10 times a month, so we asked him to tell us a little bit about them. Here's what he said. I like doing the basic things, like opening a door for someone. And it seems like a lot of women today, they're already out the car door when you're running around, you're going, oh, so well. Also, it seems when you're going out to a dinner date, um, one of you is always worrying about who has food on their face. And <laughs> Okay, before we find out who Robin chose as her date, let's see all three men again. First, there was Terry. He's 26. He's an electrical contractor. Chuck is a sound engineer. He's 32. And Hal is 30. He's in media sales. Audience, you met Robin. Seen her three choices. Who would you match her up with? Who was up to you? Audience votes all locked in. Robin's going to tell us who she picked. Who'd you select? I picked Chuck. You picked Chuck. Your man. <laughs> Chuck's backstage. Let's say hello to Chuck Hall. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. How are you? Hi, Robin. Pretty good. Hi, Chuck. Listen, uh, why don't you tell us about the date, uh, Chuck? Well, uh, I ride a motorcycle, uh, which uh, limited uh, what we could do, so I went out and rented a car for the date. Uh, That's pick, a good idea. Yeah. Did pick, you know? That, did you know that he'd rent a car? Oh yeah, I insisted he rented a car. <laughs> <laughs> I that? do not like motorcycles. They scare me to death. So we yeah. spent some of our date money on renting the car. So you rented the car for him, basically. Basically, yes. <laughs> mm, okay. So you rented the car. I picked up the car, and then I uh, went and picked up Robin about one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh-huh. Uh, she's new to the area, so we decided that we'd spend the afternoon. Uh, 
discovering parts of L.A. that she didn't know about. And then we were going to go to a concert, but we were both hungry, so we went to a fast food joint and got a couple of burgers, which uh, I liked that she was able to eat junk food. Uh, <laughs> were you getting along at this point? Oh, yeah. I, was, I felt the same way. I was so glad that he'd grab a burger with me because he looked kind of like the bean sprout type. <laughs> but, oh, no, he eats like a rabbit. Oh, no, he grabs some, some junk. It's great. We uh, headed over to the Beverly Theater to see David Sanborn in concert. Oh, he's fabulous. Yeah, Gee, he that's the first guy I've ever seen him mention his name. I think David Sanborn's great. Right, and after the show, uh, we went backstage, and since I'd worked with the act before, I knew a lot of people there, and uh, I was real impressed with Robin's uh, uh, self-confidence in terms of just handling herself in an area that wasn't her turf and was mine, but uh, she made herself right at home and uh, made a lot of friends. Everybody yeah, you, got along well with her. Did you enjoy meeting his friends? Oh, yeah, they were really friendly people. Musicians are just crazy. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> nothing personal. <laughs> and they were real friendly. The only thing that kind of irked me was he ran into this guy that he hadn't seen in a long time. And I understood that guys on the road don't cross very often. And they disappeared for about 15, 20 minutes to do some personal talking. And I sat backstage like a groupie. <laughs> Couldn't find anyone to talk to you. No, but no. I was OK. I understood. But that was the only kind of uncomfortable moment. But at the same time, when I returned, she was involved in a conversation with David and was like, you know, very, <laughs> handling herself very capably. So how'd the date end, Chuck? Um, the date ended um, at her doorstep uh, with a goodnight kiss. Obligatory or? Uh... No, he said, well, we've been talking about this because we had, we're pretty sure you're going to ask us this, so we were prepared yeah, I, for I it. I always ask. Yeah, you're right. And we got real nervous when it came time to end the date. And so he kissed me and he said, this is for you, not the love connection. All right, Chuck. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look and see who the audience picked her. They picked Hal, 48%. Oh. <laughs> Chuck, you came in last. Oh. Whoa. What taste? Cut to the quick. <laughs> Well, if you want to go out with Hal and no. take our audience, no, well, no, wait no, a minute, no. wait a minute, let me, let me at least get it spit out of here, because i got to do this. If you want to go out with Hal and take the audience's advice, we'll pay for it. If not, we don't pay for it, you're on your own, you can do what you want to do. I'd much rather be on my own. Go yeah. out and check again. Is that all right with you, Chuck? Oh, yeah, I can handle that. Yeah, okay, come on. <laughs> So what are you going to do this time? Are you still in between places to live, both of you? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Maybe no. we'll move in together. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see? You heard it here first, folks. Mom, just kidding. Yeah. We have a nice gift for both of you. Thanks for coming on the show. Enjoyed having you. Keep in touch. Will you do that? Sure. Okay. All right. We're going to come right back with our next guest. Stay with us.